All right, the Empire is, you could say we haven't expanded too much, but based on the threat level, which is lowered now, which nobody has a defense pack against me, so this is a perfect time to expand, even though I'm suffering from the flu, as well as being stressed, in which I would hope my wife would help me, you know, get rid of that, the stress part. Unless I were to take up carousing, which, huh, which I'm gonna get, I'm in no mood of, as of yet, because there's still much work to do. Not only to expand our realm a bit, but also I will soon go on another war pilgrimage to have this upgraded. And, uh, and among other things. As well as a religious liberation war for the, uh, Sindh uh, Kingdom. Kingdom of Sindh. Which would be a big score for Hinduism, because there's still Hindus in that area, which those people need to be liberated. But it will not happen until our treaty with them expires in four years, which there's plenty of time. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to, um, despite the fact that it's against the better wishes of my vassals, which they're starting not to look at me too highly, some, especially those close to me, especially outraged by succession change. So there's this man, which I will declare a holy war against him. That's right, holy war, despite the fact that he's Hindu. But look, voice of Satan, or in this case, voice of the Vinyakas, He's highly suspicious, but he's a known demon worshipper. And he also had counter-espionage because enemy informers have infiltrated his court, feeding false reports to his spies. <laughs> and he's not doing too well. Because one, he's about to be, become a tributary state of Mawa, but we have a non-aggression pact with Mawa. Which I don't know if that will even matter. So we will declare a holy war for the Kalinga region. And those gains will be going to any living member of the Kalinga Ganga dynasty. The ones that we were used to be friends with many decades ago, before their realm had fallen. And some of them driven away by the expanding Zoroastrians of Galda. And which one would think, yeah, we should be dealing with the Zoroastrians too, but instead, let them continue to rampage all across the eastern India. We'll deal with them later until I feel that the time is right to invade them. They have two friends, but it doesn't look like very much in the way of manpower. So, this should be a quick one for Kalinga, in which we'll get a prestige if we win. Because nowadays, I'm going to be all about prestige here. I need 5,000 prestige. But honestly, I should have held the tiger hunt. But since we have so much money, and there's another way to get a little bit more prestige, find me a goldsmith to create the jewels. The most improved jewels, because, you know, we're an empire now, and we need a tier 3 of the crown jewels. Necklaces and whatnot. Can't groom an arrow, because I was about to say, she's not here. She's in Madurai County. Actually, you should all gather over there. Here. We just need to make quick work of them. Another member of that giant secret society they call the Harmless. She's an imbecile. She doesn't know too much. Run. Should go away momentarily.
Hmm. Suspect at best. One and all shall see the indisputable might of House Chola. Spare no expense and order the most expensive crown jewels money can buy, which is nearly all of our treasury. But don't worry, we'll still get some of that silk money. Well, at least in areas of Mahayadapuram and, uh, and Goa. Which I never looked at the Goa trade post that much. Is it any worth investing? Yeah, a little. <sighs> After the crown jewels are mine, we just spend the money. I remember, if you need money fast, go raid. Particularly raid the Republic of Basra. Cover well from the flu and ready to battle. Yeah, we'll fight all this divine forces. Oh, I realize we don't have any commanders that that I've assigned. Whoops. That was a bit of a tactical error. Also, I did not pay attention to the casualties in our end. We beat them, but... It's because you weren't all here. Glad you're still with me. And same for you. The old siege leader, who is a complete loony. defeat that peasant revolt because the lands are mine. Oh no. How much? A thousand gold? Yeah, you are going raiding after this. Alright? I'm, I'm willing to risk it all to get the best crown jewels the world has ever seen. Send someone to the underworld if need be. Do what you gotta do. Sure, corruption may spring up, but um, what am I, Periapoli, who also spent his ill-gotten gains for all that? Yeah, all of it. We'll get a little bit of... There is no money in those areas. And that one's also been plundered too. Oh, there is some. War scores at 100%. So, it's a win for us. Well, boys, it's raiding time. But the problem is, we did not capture all the land. Uh, have to hear. Okay, and if we raise that, that's going to be too much for us. So it would put us on a deficit, so we'll have to reduce the number. Let's split the retinue off of them. Turn to your post. Smugglers have appeared. Uh, just move on to the next site. We can't afford. Corruption everywhere. Smugglers are everywhere. Nice job, Einstein. Or whoever is the best mind in Indian history. That could be considered as a genius. Just another way of saying nice job, smart ass. Yeah, that demon worshippers out of here. Why am I even thinking of that idea? 
you know what's that? Imprison him, revoke his titles, banish him to get all the money. But there's another way. If he's willing to pay. Not very much, unfortunately. This should be the one. I will be the one to shoot you. You might as well raid these areas as fast as. Oh no. Uh, all the prisoners are his, not mine. Didn't pay attention to that. Corruption everywhere. I was overcome with excitement and curiosity when I put Taiyan to inform me that the crown jewels were completed. As I waited in my throne, servants carried a great box across the room. I struggled not to leap up and meet them halfway. When I finally touched the lid, my hands were shaken. Regalia Rorvi of a true Samrat. Let me see where they are. That I spent the entire god dang treasury celestial necklace and dagger of glory this dagger with its gilded blade and heavily adorned and hilt radiates power gleaming rubies garnets and diamonds placed in swirling patterns along the hilt and this celestial necklace with dozens upon dozens of diamonds and sapphires this necklace is as beautiful as the night sky itself its centerpiece is a marvelous walnut sized blue diamond so many prestige. Those feudal vassals will sure look me a bit higher now, but we have to go right. It would take months to get out of debt. But it's springing up, but at least it isn't hitting the prestige. Isn't there a way that can... I'm not building anything, at least it's just something. Again, we have structures that reduce um, revolt risk, so that won't happen here, not in the capital. place to raid is over there. Ah, oh, gee. I'd spend a little. So, just say to prepare a trout's eye. If a child was born ugly, so be it. I'll take ugly over club footed or hairless. Yeah, nice job, Junior. Hmm. Huh. 
how much of the fervor would cost me to organize a vote? 800! Because maybe I could ask them to request me some money. So I'll organize a vote here. As an expert. <laughs> expert, that's rank, not, you know, smart. I can attempt to influence or by gathering votes uh, the, to my fellow experts. So I present suggestions to my leader. I can attempt to allow women or heretics in order, request the uh, order to diversify its fingers, or even ask for a boon. I could do a request once per five years. I would like to request a boon. The order, the order has wealth and assets to its disposition. The vast majority um, of it is at hand of the leader of the order. Members in the position of the experts. Um, can try to redirect some of his resources to themselves, for pious purpose, of course. I would like to request money, because my empire is in debt after I've spent, spent real big time. Anything to get us out of debt. Corruption has sprung up everywhere in this domain. Okay. He says that he approves the cause and will back it when I submit. So, but so how much is that in votes? Does it say that somewhere? Or how are we supposed to know unless Grandmaster said so? There's got to be an indicator for that, but... Okay, well, how many experts are here actually? Four. So, yeah, we win the vote, so that's... Two, yes. Yes. We're definitely going to get some money out of this. It is time to submit to the proposal of society's grand mess out support of four out of eight possible votes, including news to those and to those of these empty expertise. The more votes, the higher chance of success. Backing out would refund some of the fur and but still prevent me from starting another vote for five years. Listen, old man, you allow women in the order, which you had to join, your master seduce, sir. You may be possessed, but all in all, you're a good man. Even though you're not charitable, I wish you were, but just please, be a swell guy. I've considered your proposal, and considering our present situation, I unfortunately cannot approve such a redirection of our resources. I have certain I have no need to explain to you the needs but the order will pass before its members' needs. Car says, all that for nothing. Welp, rating is still on. It's the only way to get us out of debt. That and the silk trade and the local economy. Oh no, you're not touching any of these women. Women. Daughters of mine. You're not going to get any of them. Especially the inbred. Especially her. Ooh, that area's disease. Okay. Economically wise, which one holds the most? Of course. Because it's got the most holdings. But it's diseased right now, and I'm in no mood of contracting that, so... You guys go ahead. Remember, we can't raid Jains or Buddhists because we're the same faith. The uh, religion group, Eastern, the Dharma faith. So get the money. Let's say, there's, oh no, disease is starting to go away. Maybe I will be there, but actually, no need to be. Don't get sick now. Well, he has a great pox. Just get as much out of it as you can. Especially the cities and mosques. They hold way more money. Just raid this area and go back home. No need to prolong it. Well, maybe I would. 
patience, my young apprentice. Okay, we're out of debt. Just continue to raid. We're just softening them up for the future um, religious liberation war. Which we need a little more money. See what I mean? Born ugly. I'd rather take ugly over clubfoot or uh, airlift. Yep, well now we're starting to get rid of the criminals of the Domain, now that we have the funds. Just get this bit of that and then go on out of here. Okay, it's only temporary because we're going to get some of that money back here. Let them work on their own pace. I need to save that prestige. I have plans with that. Go up. And praise Brahma for my wife's good counsel and no longer stress. Sure feels like it. It's just temporary, temporarily rest. We'll get back to raiding some other time. Let's go hunt a tiger. A fool with his money. That's the moral of the story. That old demon worshipper finally died. Somebody had enough of him. The inbred daughter of mine. I don't know what I would do with you, but... At least go for this. Maybe you'll pick up Curious and maybe you'll become a bit shrewd-minded. So you wouldn't be as dumb as you look. Sorry that I say such things, but that's a fact of life. Kill it myself. And we got the tiger and some prestige to go along with it. Oh, and as for these old crown jewels, I might as well give it to her. Just to up her prestige. Make it look like these old um, crown jewels here are to be used for princes and princesses. The Rajkumaris and the Rajkumaris. Yeah, yeah. Rajkumar, Rajkumari. Prince of Princess in Sanskrit. Don't go raiding again until you have 500 gold. And, if, and remember, Republic of Azura, as it expanded its inland holdings, is to be, is the place to be for raiding. And also a bit of that, since that's the former capital, weaken our enemy before religious liberation. <sighs> Excellent. That's why I placed you there in the first place. Also, I'll give these guys to you. Um, Raja Kalinga. I'm not the Raja of Kalinga, but we'll give it to you. But remember. You might die if you don't produce any children. And then that kingdom of Orissa goes to me. Let's make that happen. 
Again, I put you there so you could press a claim, and you did it. You usurped it. Thanks to the, you know, the Zoroastrians and other expansionists. But I'm not willing to pay. Just only its limits, and I'll send my best spy master. Let's just do it without payment. Oh, I actually hold a holding. Hold a holding. <laughs> Listen to yourself. I don't like it when vassals get super angry at me of something that's beyond my control. Matter of fact, go raid now. Because by the time... Army to Goa, Navy to Goa, all ships, all troops, it's against my better judgment, but... It's time to go raid Basra to get a huge amount of money and prestige. Here goes a bird. Not just Basra. But also, dash is done. I'll take it. Take it or leave it. You want a resource that'll help you make more money? Do you want to risk being bankrupt again? That's what rating is for. Thank Brahma. Or any of the deities of the Supreme that can help us get some money. Work hard and work smart. Distribute the resources. I approve. I was about to say, you should have turned all of them to raiders, you know. It reduces the, uh, well, you know. Oh, yeah, they're definitely on board to kill the Maharaja. And once that's done, maybe I can finally give it back to the Kalingas, even though they never owned the king. <laughs> Thank you very much. I guess I couldn't convince you, but the other voters did, so. They were probably more thought out than I am. <laughs> All right. Not everybody can beat it. Okay, everybody can beat it. Except for you. is me. Not hiding in seclusion or whatever the hell else I'm doing. But I sent you there so you can get some of the good stewardship education. Which, if she were to become the Samrani, then she would most likely launch the Chola Empire into its golden age, economically. Basra. Dead your war <laughs> in that region. Ah, oh, damn it. Drunk good all that, yep.
uh, accomplished late in waiting. I'll tell you what, for the, uh, the inbred girl, I may have to give her, you know, make her lady in waiting as well. So that way, maybe you'll improve a combat skill just a little to at least try to defend yourself in the future. Come on, you have the blood of the champion like my father. Yeah, rich land, so actually raid these areas, not just positive, just basically all along the coast of the western Persian Gulf. Just raid all these areas. Still alive. Put you to work. Yes, I know there ain't enough. Just assault it. There, now it's in the supply limit. Bastard, aren't I? Save it. I'm sure one day that I um, have to go on a warrior pilgrimage. It will happen sooner rather than later. sure to hold tiger hunts every year. Just a little way to get more prestige. The harmless. He's a Chinese prince who's married to some. All secret society members are awarded with a death sentence. That's what usually happens around here. You should raid that place next. Even though it's not really... Uh, oh, it's a good island. Alright. Just have to move the boat. Oh, crap. Just learn on your own. You are, I already taught you what you need to know. Despite the fact that we've been having economic problems, that's that's why I'm not converting to Jainism or Buddhism to make a uh, change to the air. Uh, one would think we would just continue the line of only kings and queens and seven odds, seven ninety. No. Need to do more on the economic side of things. Just that would definitely help. The Flaxfield is gone. That's in Puri, that single county up there. This line has few holdings. Yeah. 
Very good economy all along the coast. We found a book. Spy mask had a damn bounty on his head. Maybe it's the flu again. Just suck it all out. Yep, it's the flu again. Second time in my life I had a flu. So, told me to undress it and kneel with my buttocks raised. That was awkward enough, uh, but when I saw the instrument, uh, I almost bolted. He must have noticed, because he patted me calmly on the shoulder, told me to stop clinching. I actually feel better. And again, I'm starting to become old here. I'm already sick as it is, so I just probably need to sleep on this. You don't want to pick up pneumonia. That'd be very bad. It's under my Jane Marshall to deal with that. What month does the treaty expire? November. November of next year. That's why we're taking this time to raid them all. We can't raid that area. No, definitely not. Join heretics. Whatever that means, because there's no such thing as heresies in the Eastern faiths. Unless you want to be considering, or I don't know, the Chavakas as a heresy, or, uh, or who knows. <laughs> Hadjavikas, even though they don't exist in this game. There's other places we can raid. If we, once we get out of this diseased territory, we could go down to Sakatra. There's a silk trade post there. A muscat... no, muscat's bad. Bad, bad. Bad spy limit because of the camp fever and hostile holdings because we're already raiding these guys. Just take that trade post out while you're at it. More money. The Hindu loving emperor is dead, but now uh, he likes Jains but frowns on Muslims. So if I were to become a Jain, he would like me more. Or at least it's an option. Go down. <laughs> Syphilis finally got him. And we will miss him. He was a very effective siege leader. But I don't suppose we have any more commanders that specialize in that sort of thing. No. Ah, here's one. Mongol. Vaisha Buddhist, so it's fine. Or alternatively, this guy would wear a leopard, which it does better. But he has a claimant, and, um, well, he's a eunuch, so he ain't going anywhere. I'll make him court eunuch as well. Just to have that distinctive honor. Yep. 
you know, there's a place to... Oh yes, the trade league stuff. Butchering fishery. It's a low level resource, but I'll take it. assassinate that Maharaja which I assume doesn't have children not yet no and he's abandoned the commoner so that further is the case so we're committed then if I'm a known murderer oh well let me go hunt the tiger and while you know, this is ongoing Well, uh, unfortunately, a scapegoat deranged to take the blame spilled my name. That drunkard. So, yes, I'm a known murderer now, so. Now, the uh, question is um, hey, Kalinga's still alive? Because if you are here, then. Uh, yeah, well, there's you, but. Oh, you live here. I'm about to give him a big fat favor. So it's like, yeah. You're my vassal, which in turn, now you are king of a artist, huh? You know, you speak in Rustani rather than Aria, but we know what you mean. So there, all this land is yours. And as for this, get rid of that. Oh. And as for this, I gotta give it to somebody else now. Culturally Gujarati in a large part. And it has to be a Hindu running the place. Unless you know somebody that has a claimant where we could press it against him and become part of our empire. No, you're a eunuch. Unless you had children prior. Nope. You are hopeless. And obviously, cannot interact with these Zoroastrians. I don't know why, would you? I mean, if any, then, um. Unless you could press the whole area, but. But good lord, the man's a brawny giant. And good looking, too. And I say good looking because I'm homosexual. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of say such things. Why, well, the whole child of kingdom, right? Not just some Dutch. Gujarat, Rajputana, that's one. Screw it. Just come in. You've been hiding for too long. I'm going to give you this piece of land here. And you are a good giraffe to the Must be able to marry and produce heirs. Well, that's unfortunate here. And I cannot give it to some old woman because, well, there's reasons for that. 
very old and uh, female. So we can't do that. Unless uh, we know somebody that has a claim to um, incarnate on Kingdom of Kosala. What about you? Strong claim. That can be enraged. Once again, Gujarat stays independent. Here, it's all yours. So now, Buddhists run Ujjayan, but even though... That would hurt our moral authority, having a Buddhist run that area, but as long as it's under my empire, it's fine, unless I tell him to... Uh, That's a water to claim it, son. Right. Raid continues. Oh, by the way, the old man's there. Uh, But some would think it would probably be a mistake. I mean, what if he gets killed and then this piece of land goes to Kashana? Well, then I would have a strong claim for it, for these counties, if I were to get him back again. Also, what the color is this? Oh, it's Sultanate of Syria. Also, Al Jazeera, Egypt, and Africa. That's why I could change its primary title. No tigers, unfortunately. Now we have to bring these guys back because we're running short on manpower. And see if we can convince the Grandmaster to, to recruit diplomats. Huh. Yeah, I'll write a formal complaint to him. I'll gain a little bit of prestige since I'm all about prestige these days. I feel insulted that the first thing you do is accuse my people of being ill-behaved. Did you ever did you ever consider that you may be a fraud? Of course not, you soft blasphemer. Soft blasphemer. What nerve! This changes things. Never liked them anyway. Despite the fact that the air is diseased, but we're going in. There's no trade post here. Request granted. Diplomats can join. Anybody with diplomacy education are allowed to join. You got a good enough mind, so how much will it cost me if I send her to the academy, the local academy, and not over in China, which will cost you some grace? 40, 75. Alright. So she's off to it, in which she will not change her culture to any kind of different one. As long as that man's in charge. Retinue is waiting for us. Keep working on it. <laughs> Feel sorry for the little inbred girl. It's almost time. Just raid all these. Oh, man, that's a lot of money um, that it can hold. Just raid all these areas and then. We'll start the war. Oh yeah, brought you here.
ceremonial robes. Don't I already have one? No, no, I must be thinking of something else. Yeah. Original order was these guys from Muscat, but now it's mine. More prestige and a bit of diplomacy, which in turn means more prestige. I'm all about prestige nowadays, even though I'm starting to become a bit older. I only have a limited time on Earth. Not gonna happen. We plan on starting a war soon. Once we get our money and prestige over here. to go. Okay, go home now. It's full. No need to raid that last one. a lot. We may not be at full strength, but I like to think we're good enough. So, again, the other activity is just we're still in the middle of voting. I'm just waiting for it to be done. Start a tiger hunt. And then, um, you know, with that kind of money, we should be building these things, such as a temple retinue, and I'll figure out what I'll do next with those. Yeah, temple retinue, which means just additional troops. When it comes to fighting wars, especially in civil wars. Who are they? Manichaean Raiders. And you go with them. Just when we were getting ready. This is something we gotta get used to. We didn't have those prior. This many of a host of raiders. Just beat them once and then they'll be out of here, then we'll start the war. No, don't forbid a woman from joining. You may never know she would one day be joining that. And indeed they did. But then again, that old master seducer grandmaster isn't around anymore. So, time's changed. Oh, prisoners. And we can't af and they can't afford them to have them.
Mr. Bell cannot press that claim yet, even though he's the heir of that area. these raiders out of here. Put you in instead. That's another thing I should be using, um, if I have enough, um, what you call it, forever to get me some holy commanders. Since we're going to be fighting against the infidel piston. Hmm. Okay, they're out of here. Now remember the rally points. It's just a reminder as this war is about to begin. So it's Nepalese uh, that want this area. Part of Kashmir, right? Or is that somewhere else? Where? Kuru. No, that's down there. Tibet owns that region. As part of the fledgling um, Tibetan Empire. He doesn't have much friends, but once that war starts, I'm sure they're going to come down here and fight against us, which... I ain't all that worried. I'll be leading the troops to victory again. As long as there aren't any diseases in the way. Yes, it's still on. Religious liberation of sin. We've waited long enough, and we've spent so much money on crown jewels. This time we are ready. I don't know why we would have a holy war declared on this area. I don't know what gave us the right to have that, but still. Connections. Just do it. We'll get there by ship. It's, it's like I was thinking about just marching to there, but no, we want to get there fast and, and get it done. Oh, you were different. Benjapura, Vingapura, different area. Same here. Oh. It ain't much, but it'll do. Speaking of which, that reminds me economically. Trade office says more prestige is needed, including it one in Goa. And I recall there's this other. Prestige, prestige, prestige. A thousand more. And I need to be in the front lines too. Made my men to battle. Remember how we got warrior commanders? Well, it's going to cost 500 each, and I was on the verge of going on a warrior program instantly, but it's too late for that, so. Since we'll be fighting against, you know, a little more of the same with the Muslims, and then eventually Zoroastrians, so we'll just be well prepared and hire some local holy commanders. Not to mention it would increase a little bit of that membership. Here's one. That's for the sword, skill fighter, righteous leader. Nothing will break this man and his army wills. He's good on the defense, not to mention damage against the enemy. That isn't us. Or in the eastern group, that matter. Not a man, just like me. Holy elephant leader. 
We can only afford... I was about to say one more. No? Two on my flanks will be fine. Because I have war holy elephant leader as well. Oh yes, since we own that region too. Same for you. I'm sure he's going to be more focused on defense because, again, he's only helping out his fellow Sunni Muslim ally. But now he's going to be withdrawing to defend his territory. Actually, they're here now. Unless they're going to Eugene. Oh my lord. Right, they live close to each other. Hope I'm doing the right thing, unless... Unless they could crusade for Jerusalem and get us off our backs. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing in the world, actually, but... They're going to be marching so far away from their homeland, which one would think that the supply limit's going to get them. With that much of a force. But do not fret. You've got holy commanders on your side. Get in the boats. Just go around there and we'll figure out where the hell they're going. All the way. It has to be a quick victory, otherwise we will be overwhelmed. Oh, remember, we have holy commanders now. The war cannot be won by tiger-hunting fools such as myself. It has to be for those who would live and fight in the name of Hinduism. Stop! They're coming back. No need for that. Here's the Sutra. Hold your position to figure out where they're going. Just go parallel because we're not full of morale yet. Be with me. And you too. You, you, there's more elephants on this flank, so definitely for, for you. Even though he stutters, but it's fine. And if we defeat the enemy, we can go get another holy commander. Gotta chase him down somehow. No. Scared shitless. Go ahead, take it. We've wasted enough time before the Egyptians come. Syrians, Egyptians, uh, Africa. Raja Matura. Secret Jain society is still thriving, I see. But so what? If it becomes Jayan, it's not going to kill the moral authority, no. You need to stop overthinking it, because... You know, it doesn't work like that. What I mean is... <laughs> look, if it was over in Europe, that would be a huge deal. In India, not that much. If we were under uh, the rule of the infidels and have a secret society, yeah, that would be much bigger of a deal. 
Where's the Bengali? If he isn't around, get the Mongol. Where is he? Saranaika. 20,000 strong with mercenaries. Oh yeah, Khalif lives here. Well, soon he's about to lose his residence in, in the Sindhu region. Invading Gujarat. If they're successful, which is possible, then at least we'll grant ourselves a holy war possibility to get all of Gujarat. But if we win before these guys do, then there goes their manpower. They're going back again. Temple retinue is finished. It's the other one we can build. Let me think. Land organization. That's for military organization, right? And land organization. Like, what do you mean as in... And it's something for, you know, troops. I mean, it's there somewhere in the, in the armies. But anyways, I think that would be a good fit. Since we're a militaristic empire, so we might as well build a Mahab Manadapa. Lowers the revolt risk and... Um, the Great Pilgrimage Hall serving as a waiting room for pilgrims and devotees. I see. And if we score this big victory of a war and we'll build up the next stage of that hindu temple it's going to be a grand temple someday took all the holdings including a crate for, for sale if the trade league comes and take it and head to here Oh, the revolt broke out. Oh, thank goodness. Crusade for Saxony. Huh. Saxony? Up there against Finland? Huh. Would have rather have them, you know, go for Jerusalem or something, you know, get these Muslims off our backs. <laughs> Those heathens. That's all I gotta say about them. Those dirty heathens. Let's fight. It's about dang time. We were just fortunate that a revolt broke out there. Now they're screwed. Continue to stay to the area. I'm always sick being kind to um, everyone. Make sure you have to go for that. It's the best you can do, despite your limitations, both mentally and physically. Yeah, we're destroying corruption in the in the domain. Probably got hurt in the battle. That one. Two, 
this region next. Consumption is broken down in Maldives. Concerning. Has these structures finished? How much prestige would I get for winning that war? 250. Good. Oh god, it's gonna be coming there fast. Unfortunately, we may have to shut the gates soon, which would cause to lose our um, which will lose our commanders because they'll be with me when we at seclusion because we may have to close it. Not yet. Be brave. Instead, she chose honesty. Come on. Hating them in the battle is the faster way to win the war than just staging all the areas. Not her either. But I thought about giving a matrilineal marriage to somebody. I'll figure that out in the next episode. I know who, but that's only if they still exist. It's over. Capture them both. We can go home. We win. Sindh is now religiously liberated. Announced the Sultanate of uh, Punjab. And remember, whatever you need, we'll help you out on it. We'll be there for you. Now we just gotta go home and should the disease come then we'll have to deal with it. Oh and go on a tiger hunt while you're at it. Get a bit of prestige. Oh my, she's a giant. Time to teach you Brahma. Your family is very decadent. But you don't need to worry about that now. Oh my god, the Maharaja of Talangana got killed by a tiger. Killed by a man-eating tiger. Now the Maharani runs the area. After several years, my daughter returns to the academy. 
She was not one of the most accomplished students, but I could tell she has gained in a manner of communicating that would help them in years to come. So she's a graduate and Gregarious. And apparently she picked up two philosophies, which is odd, because she's supposed to have one. Tanka, Chavaika. But she's a graduate nonetheless, and Eurydice, so she's got a good mind. Whereas for her, you know, learning's not for her. If they allowed women, I would have put you in there. The mares are mad as hell. Look, you will get the rest. Oh yeah, the conspirator. I'll banish you and give me the money. How much is it to build up the third stage? Okay, wait till 2500 gold. Twin bastards. Right now that we're back from the tiger hunt, it's it's here. The disease is here. Just as I feared. Yeah, this is just as I feared. And I was going to go on a warrior pilgrimage. I thought, hey, you think there's still time for... Nope. Not anymore. And I thought about switching my focus, you know, get away from war, at least for a bit then. Still writing a book, right? Not a reason of why I should live. Because I'm thinking about shifting all my books towards diplomacy because when you see diplomacy skill, it ups the prestige a bit more. So I thought I should go for that. And I don't want to have concubines. Because that would grant me more children and I thought, no, I think it's time for a woman to rule. Just based on seeing all of these in the line of uh, succession. And I was thinking about switching the uh, religious branch to um, become a Shivist, which is more prestige focused. And of course, that would include all the children. Just wait until you're 15 does of prestige. At least we'll see the realm prosper. Just want to look at one more thing before we shut the gates. Before we shut the front door. Yeah, that's gonna hurt the prestige a bit because of having the gates shut due to lower diplomacy. But just wait until 15, 15,000 prestige, and then I will uh, switch to. Uh, the Shivist branch. Shivist, Shivai branch of Hinduism. Which I think that would probably be a religious branch for now, for this next line of Chola rules in the future. So, I mean, I told you you'll get better. Despite your honesty. And the other things. Heaven forbid you should ever be a lunatic.
Almost there. And now you speak Tamil. Can't be cancer, can it? Oh, switch to. But say switch to hunting. It's a bit healthier. There are many legends about a great man whose blood I share. Particular stories with circulated court lady. It focuses on epic fate where Iraja de Raja proves his strength for character. The more I hear, the more I wish to emulate him. Again, he's kind of half and half, but his chastity is his only virtue. So I will strive to be more like him. So now I become chaste. It's a virtuous thing to have. Okay. Yeah, I had to switch to hunting. Just trying to be a little more healthier. It's either that or theology. No. So close now. If it's consumption, then we'll try to deal with it. I'm an old man, you know. And if I die, then, um. Uh, that she's got a good future. May not be as well skilled. It's kind of too late to send her a cannery because I didn't put much thought into that. I was just trying to give her an education. Maharaja Sindh. Abbasid Sultanate. Oh, it's there. Hey, um, I was thinking, should we help them? Even though they're already mad as it is. I'll just respectfully decline. Should you lose, and if you get into the defensive wars, I'll help you out. But right now, let's build up the third stage of the temple. Cancer. But it's mild cancer. Always happens. Oh, come on. Let's try something new. I insist. <laughs> if I the last strap, secure me on the operating table. I will not lie to you, my lord. This will be excruciatingly painful and must be done. I tried to protest uh, when he brought out the saw, but due to the calming potion he made me drink, I slurred beyond comprehension. The tree was successful, but I paid a heavy price. I am cured, but I lost my hand. Oh. If I survive this injury, due to a combination of being a tough soldier, uh, hunting focused lifestyle, maybe more strong, I think I'll live. But, I had to do yeah, why not? <laughs> but, uh, I had to do it. What other choice did I have? What other choice? 15,000 prestige reached. Give it a moment because I'll change it in a moment. I try to get a good night's sleep, but I'm tormented by the horrible recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and the hurtful words begin to get me. Well, I'll lose bravery for this, but it. It was worth it. I ain't what I used to be. But hopefully I'll recover from the injury. Warm 
weren't all that smart enough. Now who should I give it to? I mean, Maharashtra is the homeland of the Malati people. I think I'll make you. Okay. Maharaj. Maybe one day you'll fight subjugation wars against your Indo-Aryan brethren. You'll be useful to us. And uh, all that stuff I inherited. Two books. See, while I'm at it, I should equip all that with diplomacy books. I mean, get that stuff off. Oh. Yeah, toning down on our most books and full focus to diplomacy. Just want to keep the realm stable. There you go. See? Oh man, it's due to that inbred health. Yeah, it's the mental disability, complications of being inbred. This killed her. Died comatose in the bed. She was going to be, I don't know, at least a, a competent warrior where she could at least defend herself despite her mental limitations, but she's, she's gone now. Alright, change the religious branch. Shaivism, Vishnavism, Shaktism, Smartism. So, going to Shaivism, revering Sh uh, Shiva as supreme. More prestige. So, maiden, the children, and the others are all that now. Back to the way we were in the beginning. That's my niece. Rajput or Kamaru. Still causing all hell over there. Religious liberation of Mawa, we could do. We could push that claim of Kashala, which it will come to, you know, the growing Chola Empire, but, uh, oh, we could do that. We'll do that in the next episode, if I survive this injury. Because it feels like I'm. Dicing on the edge of death here. But mind you, he's a giant. I mean, they could use subjugation wars against our neighbors. Which would be great. Say if they get Gujarat, finally. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can handle that, so we're going. You lead them.
ever gone? Nope. Even where it originated, it started three years ago. Around November. Oh, that's insane. I'm sure that we're probably going to start killing cats in the future. All of it, got rabies. Yipe. Hate to have read that piece of news. We got some victims from the locals. What did you do to piss them off? Taxation. Crap, you've been in prison. You were probably stealing his artifacts, were you? Sure, he's got good stuff, but this is not a good time. Because if you die in that dungeon, Koshala is gonna be. But that land is gonna go to Koshala, and we're gonna have to fight for it, and thus further complicating our expansion to the north. I wish I could get you out of here. Hey, look. You have a... Uh... Like, it's too bad I can't, you know, tell him to pay ransom. He has to pay it himself. Matter of fact, I'll lend you some money. Maybe you can ransom yourself out of here. Never done this before, honestly, in the history of... Fully healed now. Just pay yourself, get yourself out of prison, and uh, see if you get yourself free. It worked. <laughs> now that's what I call doing a, a favor of a friend. It's like, it's like I visit jail, it's like, here, have some money, and, and then he's like, okay, well, do it. Get yourself out of here. And my golly, he did. See? You see? I told you he had the money that he would be you know, ranting out of here, so some of my money is now gone to him. A deal's a deal. It's not possible to some job. No. Despite the disease and some of our commanders not being there, and the way this geographical position is just... Uh, we have to press that claim. Press this young man's claim before he dies of stress. So let's do it. Also, I think I realized something. I accidentally got rid of my retinue! <laughs> but... We got the money. I was about to say, hey, wait a minute, what the hell are you doing? Oh, oh don't worry, we're not raising boats. Yeah, it'll be back up to normal numbers. Okay, for the sake of low money, low reinforcements, you will not be used during this war. I realize that I accidentally did This is what happens when you don't think straight. Until we get more money, we'll give them full reinforcement rate. The construction will be halted at least for a moment. Okay, good move. Once again, new position. Here I go again, bankrupt again. Unless you want to start ransoming prisoners. Continue. The Kshala war should, should be an easy one. 
Actually, they are an Imperial tributary. Oh, he's incapable. He's not going to do a war of a damn. Okay, tell you what. Oh, he's got no money. Just burn him. I was hoping to ransom out of this. There they are. And Z's refuses to leave. At least it hasn't gone depopulated yet. Up you go. Too bad that my best commanders cannot be there for you. Tuberculosis is just an evil disease. At least getting rid of a bit of corruption adds a low income. I know what it's gonna be. the limit so we're assaulting it. No, don't. The capital quick. I guess. If you want to be Tongo, then be Tongo. Called Ben Gold into the war. Here's the main battle. All points to me. You'll get what you want. We capture him? Good. Guess not. Don't die. Soon that disease will finally be clear. Is he saying? Good. Food shortages. Because it's been here for so long. Tough times are ahead for all of us. Mary, her she has sickness. And get out of here. Take a bit of that money off of you. Another niece of mine. God dang rats. Be eating some rats. Chodanadu is mine. That's the last of the Chola Jayans. Hmm. 
I mean, yeah, that's a lot of land. Hey, where is this um, bastard, um, Tomo Chad? I'd say, yeah, you. You should hold on, Charanadi. All yours. So now Hindus run the realm again. Nice. More retinue. Oh, god dang it. Don't talk to turbulent priest, just get rid of him. Where's the enemy? Go up there instead. Are they gone? man. Hate to die a loner. Yet to give me a single mission for this. Is the Bengali still around or has he died out? What about the Mongol? No. Just don't have guys with Good siege tactics anymore. Doesn't look like it. But then again, some aren't willing to join because I've banned the commoners. Resume. Where are they? While digging the ground around the building of Chola Mandolin Temple, the workers came across some kind of a door what seems to be a closed chamber. Spend some time and go to investigate. Might be some old valuables inside, if any. After some digging, a big stone appeared, blocking an entrance. When the workers moved the, removed the stone, an old tomb was discovered with a small quantity of silver and gold objects in it. Shall I risk being less charitable? It's all mine, but I'm still considered charitable. Cynical comments have made me, has made people look at things my way. I've created more cynics. There's no way they can keep up with me. Oh God, bad food poisoning. And if she dies, then we lost a great mind, and then it might be her to lead. Even though she wrote an underwhelming work of Chewbacca philosophy. Well, she might as well write on on the other. Yes, my name. He's a renowned physician, so I guess he did a good thing. Where are these guys? They're on their way, so we'll meet them there. Hey, 
Wait a minute. My god. All the holdings except for Potliputra belongs to us. How about that? A legendary Potliputra. Not in our hands. Yet. Oh no, I don't want to be there. I have, don't have a hand anymore, and if I get into a fight, I'm going to get killed. Just beat him, finish the war as fast as you can. Good on you. Move up here. What are the odds? Maybe that disease has been killing us. That's what I, I'm assuming. Hmm. Finish the episode. One more battle will do. We have the events of the hills. Try to capture them at least. Surprise that vassal of ours is still alive. Jammu. Jammu? Guess I don't fuck here, mine died. Just hurry up. Getting impatient. Time's running out here. percent. I guess we'll have to go through there. Oh, you want spot. Oh, it's too late. And we lost a bit of that territory. I knew this was too good to be true. The stress got him. Yes, and he was wounded too. All that for nothing. Let's just return home, feeling a bit dejected. We lost a bit of that territory, but we'll get a piece of revenge against them. But that's a maybe, but I don't know if we should do that because everybody's tired of war. Yeah, sure. Your virtue is enough to teach you about warfare and combat, if any. Guess you got better from your food poisoning, right? Yeah. When you lose one, you gain one. 
moral of this episode. There's a new school of thought. Um, there's been a talk of old cultured men recently. It appears they found a philosophical school to rival the ancients. Their thoughts on the mind, the soul, and the nature of reality are truly remarkable. This pedal me and philosophy will go far. It was founded by him. I was about to say, my Chancellor? Or was it you? Yeah. All right. But there's something blocking away. Oh, yes. <sighs> that territory. <sighs> well, on that little depressing note, Tom, um, that we lost a bit of that territory. But, um, if we wanted it to, we can. Well, press all the claims to retake those territories back and start over from scratch. I'd say he's not in that line of succession, is he? Too far down to even matter. So we just hope for something positive to change. That and in that next episode, though. We gotta get these women betrothed and married. I think it's about that time. I wish some of which, like her, would join some societies that would help benefit them in the long run. Because I would just want to rest from all this fighting even though everybody's just fine with it. It's just it's been a financial strain and and among other things. As I am looking up possibilities to do what captives. Rush can my prime time. Maybe it's somebody within that I probably did not know about. But uh, hold on, look up who? Rajkumari Patavan. It's a close relative of mine. And no, I'm not considering a free captive as well. I was just looking for other possibilities, including did your claims. These two areas. I mean, there's other places to expand. Or we could press claims to retake all the territories and kick them all in and make room for another claimant to give it another shot of, of expanding northwards. I don't know. We'll figure something out for the future of the Chola Empire expansion, as well as myself and the children. I have a future to think about. So until then, so long for now.